all right we have another unboxing on this channel and i'm really excited to get back into the survival tech gadgets and this one is really cool so this is going to be the hell tech mesh pocket qi2 this thing is a device that does a multiple things one it charges it could be a, a battery bank charger for your phone it has wireless charging and it has a mesh tastic device built into it with an ink screen so you get the best of both worlds when it comes to having a battery bank and having a mesh tastic device like the Helltech V3. Um, this has everything put in one. So I'd be really excited to unbox this and do a quick first impressions. And we'll get into the specs after we do the unboxing. So let's go ahead and get started with that. This one. I see it's a lot. It feels like a lot bigger than it. It looks like I'm... Okay, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Okay. Now there's two versions to this device. You can get the 5,000 milliamp hour or you can get the uh, 10,000 milliamp hour. I would recommend getting the 10,000. Double the power and for only 10 bucks of a difference. So I think the standard price for this, if we look over here, standard price is 59 and the upgraded version uh, is 70 or 69 so definitely with ten dollars more to get double the battery capacity uh, it would definitely be worth it uh, especially if you're using this for a survival tech or you're putting this in your survival tech gadgets um, collection so let me go ahead and open this up This feels solid too. It's actually a pretty decent weight to it too. Yeah, this feels solid. There we go. Nice. Okay, what do we get with it? The charger. That reminds me of the other device. Pretty nice. All right, so let's get this stuff out of the way. All right, let's talk about some of the key features. A battery capability available in 5,000 milliamp or 10,000 milliamp options. Wireless charging supports QI2 magnetic charging with five to 7.5, 10, and 15 watt outputs. I got wire charging, USB type C. Simultaneous charging, you can do both wireless and uh, wired charging at the same time. Safety protections equipped with over voltage, under voltage, over current, short circuit, and temperature protections. Uh, Bluetooth module NRF52840. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity, LoRa SX1262 for low, uh, for long range and low power consumption. And uh, display is a 2.13 ink screen for clear, powerful, effective information display even in direct sunlight. Custom firmware support, fully customizable for developers to adapt and specialize. All right, so this thing weighs 5.3 ounces. So again, this is a mini, this is a power bank too. So this, you can plug in your phone, plug in any other device, and you can plug in your phone here, or have this attached to your phone and plug in another device here if you wanted to. And it has a mesh tastic gadget already built into it. So you get a battery bank combo device. So it's really nice to consolidate stuff in your survival tech gear. And then for example, this is just a battery bank here. This thing's heavy, takes up a lot of room. Yeah, really cool. So let's try to turn this on for the first time. I have no idea how to turn this on. All right, so I just figured it out. So we got to double tap the button to get it to turn on. Connect antenna. It didn't come with an antenna. Why is this thing connect an antenna? Tap 
test sample, not for sale. I'll go walk. I got the test sample. Test sample. I'm guessing the antenna is already attached. So let me go ahead and try to connect this. All right, this is how you set it up for the first time. So go ahead and go into the MeshTastic app, pair your device, put in the code that pops up on the ink screen. Once you do that, make sure you hit pair. And then it's gonna ask you to select a region. So make sure you click on that, click on region, select your region, and then you're going to click save. You're gonna disconnect from the device, it's gonna reboot, and then you're gonna reconnect, you'll be ready to go. All right, so I connected to the phone, just did the setup. I probably just walked you through it just now. And I select the region like it told me to. So now here it is on the blank screen. All right, so we're gonna do our first test. So I have everything set up. Uh, it was a simple process. Um, and I'm going to send a message right now. All right, so it looks like it worked. All right, so this is currently charging my Flipper Zero. So this device says that it could charge two devices at once. So you, could, you could do it right here with the USB Type-C, or if I flip it over, it does wireless charging. So we'll see if that works. Okay, so I figured it out. So to activate the wireless charging, you need to hit this button right here. I think I gotta hold it down for like one second. There you go. And now it is charging. pretty cool and this magnet is pretty good like i'm pretty impressed at how strong this magnet actually is i say it's not it's just powerful enough where you feel confident that it's not going to fall off but it's enough where you could just take it off so it does come with i noticed a little magnetic ring so if you have a device that doesn't support wireless charging doesn't have the magnet on the back you can just put this on it all right so i found out there's more you can actually do with this device so on the side here there's a button um, it says if you go ahead and hold it down, it gives you some options. So that that's like the main mode. If you hold it down, it gives you these options. If you just tap it once, you can pick options. You can go down, save and shut down. You can exit if you want, back up to the top. So you can actually send a message. It looks like that. You can ping. So it looks like it pings or sends like a test message out. Gives you, gives you some information about what's going on. Really interesting. So out of the box, it seems like this comes with a very low battery because it's already died on me. So I'm currently charging it now. But the reality here is to have this type of experience, to have a battery bank that you can connect to your phone with a magnet is basically like having one of these with the wireless charging. Um, and if you think about it, these devices, uh, these battery banks with the wireless charging and all the ports, uh, a little heavy. Um, this is, uh, it's it's heavy, but not too heavy. But this is about 20 to $40, depending on what type of battery you get. And this little Helltech V3, um, this is like, you would plug it into this. And this runs about for 20 to $30, depending on where you get it. So for the about the same amount of money, you can just get this compact package. It's a really cool design too. Like I, I'm really liking the how it, it's solid. If it, I, it's not waterproof, um, but being able to attach it to your phone and turn on a little bit extra battery life when you need it, I think that's really cool. Um, definitely something to add. I might, I mean, out of everything, I have my survival gadget list. This is more like a cool uh, gadget, like not a necessary a survival per se gadget. Um, but definitely a cool one to have. I, I definitely recommend it. I got to do some more testing with it and do my like, daily drive this for a little while. But first impressions, um, it's pretty good. And now to think about it, this is a very unique device because of that. It's a battery bank built in. I mean, they have devices out there where they're mesh attached to gadgets with a little solar panel built into it. Um, but not, it's not a battery bank. I can't plug this into my phone to charge it. Um, this only charges this device. But for this one, you can actually charge your phone or other devices or even power devices if you wanted to or power pen testing gadgets the gadgets or whatever you have. So that's a pretty cool feature. This is a very unique mesh-tastic device. 
And it's something that reminds me of like something like this, where you put this on your backpack, but you get more functionality for it. And this is about the same amount of money as that one. I mean, I think that one's maybe $10 more. I could put the prices in the video, but like something like this over that, like I might pick something like this over that because you get the added benefit of the magnetic charging. Um, you can do dual charging with it and um, just a little bit more user friendliness of having it a magnet attached to your phone like i think that's a really convenient feature too so and it's it's a good magnet too really cool so that's what i think so my first impression is a really cool gadget thank you Helltech, for sending out this product to me this is one of the cooler gadgets i have for mesh tastic i really do appreciate it and i really think you have something going on here having that battery bank with that magnet that connects to your phone is something about that easy use is really nice um and uh and a nice form factor too so seems like a solid device about to do some more testing on my own um and um, turn this into my daily for a little while to see how much range and how long get the battery actually lasts for and i'm gonna take a quick break just to talk about my sponsors and we're back I and mean, the only sponsor i have is you guys my youtube members so really do appreciate the 25 of you out there that support me every month with a uh, basically a channel domination thank you so much for your support thank you everybody for being here for the journey here and uh, i'm really excited to get more into the survival tech stuff as well as more pen testing gadgets i still got a lot of stuff coming into the studio and i'm going to be leaving all the links to these products in the description and uh, just want to get your thoughts guys what do you think about this device are you going to pick one up do you think this is cool um do you like this concept that there are multiple things in one um, that cut down the uh, actual survival backpack and gear if you were to get, have to get up and go. What do you think about it? Or what do you think that maybe could improve this design right here? And I thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.